top three things in Keith's macro notebook this morning, China, Europe, and the U.S. 10-year yield. Starting off with China, you know, after having a pretty healthy week last week, plus about 50 basis points, and this is you know, compared to Europe in particular that got smoked, uh, Shanghai Composite up again this morning, uh, up about a percent, percent and a half, 140 basis points or so to um, up. Uh, just over 8% on the year to date. By far, the major equity markets most improved over the last six weeks. And, uh, and, and equity market, we continue to get, I guess, marginally incrementally positive on. And number two in Keith's macro notebook, Europe, you know, conversely, uh, compared to China, biggest mess in equities in global markets over the last six weeks. Trying to bounce this morning, but, you know, really not bouncing anywhere meaningful or anywhere near the uh, hedge eye risk resistance lines. Uh, you know, one one market to note, Greece uh, down 9.9% last week. So you, you put that in the context of its 2% bounce this morning, and, you know, really there's a, a lot of recovery that has to happen in that market. Um, and the third thing in Keith's macro notebook this morning, U.S. 10-year yield. Bond market obviously couldn't, couldn't care less about people getting whipped around in, in the S&P 500. 10-year yield 2.43 this morning uh, with a medium-term risk range of 2.4 to 2.5. Continue to see lower highs in the yield being signaled and yield spread. You know, this is something we've been hammering away on is now at the lowest of the year to date. So, you know, for us, it continues to be a signal that um, you know, growth will slow incrementally into Q3.